Greetings, epic adventure seekers. I'm Ellie Beerman, your guide to demystifying your world. And you are listening to Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. The last time I was talking with you, I was talking about Sherry and the experience of the kind of strictly energy work I do. And just because Sherry was clearing out her blocks, her energy blocks, her history of relationship energy blocks. I mean, her whole history from being in the womb up into her current age. The first visit, she had never been happy. She didn't know how to be happy. The first time I ever did a live program and the person who volunteered just could not come to a place of happy, no memories, nothing. So she called me two days after our session and you know how you can hear a smile in a voice and she was so happy. And she said, I never felt like this before. After the second visit, she had been having horrible issues with her adult son who lived many miles away. She lived in mainstream USA, he lived in Hawaii. And no matter what they did, they couldn't come to a loving agreement just to be loving with each other. Well, after that second session, Sherry called to say, you know, I didn't even talk to him, but now everything's good in our relationship is all healed. After the third session, again, this is strictly energy. I work only with energy. After the third session, she called to say the issues with harassment. I've been having at work for three years. She even filed a formal complaint. Nothing came of it. She was working in a male organization, right? She said the guy stopped bothering her. No more harassment. He didn't move to a different apartment. He didn't quit. It was just all gone. Why? Because Sherry cleared the energy issues going on in her own life. So I'm going to talk to you about a different kind of aspect, exact same protocol working totally with energy, clearing the emotional issues that are at work full force out of your awareness, making your life look the way it does. And let me give you some background there. I'm a metaphysical minister. Well, why am I a metaphysical minister? Because in your world, if you don't understand the metaphysics, the reality of how life works, You're experiencing 1%, 1% of that reality because 99% is invisible to you because it's all energetic. It's your guides, it's your angels, it's spirit, it's the universe, it's all this. uh, I'm a pretty big fan of Greg Braden, and he does some pretty phenomenal stuff. Okay, he comes from science. He, if you don't know who he is, he weds science and spirituality. And one of the things he did was he showed how empty space isn't empty at all. It was full of electrical energy. After all, we are electromagnetic beings. So the fact that all this stuff's going on out of our awareness, because our five senses can only perceive 1% of reality. So if you want a bigger picture, if you want to know how to talk with your guides, with your angels, I'm in communication constantly. It's two-way. I need help. I ask for it. I get an instant response. I can teach you that, but that's not what we're doing here today. Here today, I want to help you to understand how using solely energy, the way I do with Sherry, it was nothing different in the way I did it. I was able to take someone who came to my home 
at that time, I lived in a co-house and I was able to do, I call my metaphysical, I call it a gathering when people come and we explore something together and I'll have a topic, a theme. And we just, we talk about it, we share experiences, I do some teaching. Anyway, she came into the gathering and she was in really severe pain. She couldn't move her neck because it hurt so, so, so badly. And I said, well, wow, you're really in luck here because today we have a chiropractor joining us as a new, I don't have members, so member wouldn't be the word, but a new participant. So I was so excited when he walked in and I said, oh, I'm so glad you're here because Karen is in horrible, horrible pain. And, and I'm looking to you to be able to assist her. And he said, chiropractors are still mainstream medicine, right? They're not working in energy. He said, come to my office tomorrow. We'll take an x-ray and then I'll know what to do. Um, for those of you who can't see, I'm just hitting myself in the forehead. Somebody's in extreme pain. You don't tell them, come to my office tomorrow. We'll take an x-ray and then I'll know what to do. I don't work that way. So I did some energy work so Karen was able to get through our gathering and everybody went home and I said, let me help you. And I took her into the room where I did my work. I, I guess you could call it a healing room, a healing space, because I kept it very clear and very barren because I'm very aware when working with somebody and they see anything on the walls, it distracts them. And it makes it much more challenging for me to clear stuff out for them. So I took her into the healing room. And by the way, I call it a healing room because healing happens in there, not because I'm doing it, but because I don't do anything but let the universe channel the information and the energy through me. And it basically comes out through my hands. I get the direction, hold your hands this way. Your body is so complex. And for those of you who are just listening right now, when you hold your hand open with your fingers separated, energy runs one way. When you put your fingers together so they're all touching, it runs another way. The pads of your fingers have one kind of energy. The fingernails have a different kind of energy. The fingertips have a different kind of energy. And when you move your fingers in different configurations, you're sending energy differently. So the universe would tell me what's wrong, where it's wrong, how to send that energy. It took three hours. But when Karen got up, she said, I'm good. I don't need a doctor. I'm good. And thank you. And what do I owe you? That's why I love what I do, because I can make an instant difference for somebody. I don't know how she would have made it home, let alone wait until the next day if she had to go see a doctor. I am getting ready to launch a book club. If you've been following me for a while, I've been looking to do this for a long time, but I was looking for the right book. If you listen to my podcast, you'll know I found the book because my last episode and you've seen it on you've seen excerpts on Instagram, on YouTube, just everywhere. Facebook. Dee Wallace is an expert and she teaches what I teach in a deeper, 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 deeper way. It's a, something I used to do that I forgot and I stopped. So her book, Born, Giving Birth to a New You, it dramatically changed my life. It showed me 
some stories I'd been running since I was a little kid that I had no idea I was running them. And as a matter of fact, in both cases, they were stories doctors had put into me when I was little. When you're a little kid, a doctor is kind of an authority figure, actually, for way too many adults, a doctor is also an authority figure. Anyway, because I, I was running a story, one doctor, when I was nine years old, he said, you know, this thing that's wrong with you, I kept getting weird sicknesses when I was a kid, weird sicknesses, weird injuries. And he said to me, okay, so doctor, talking to a nine-year-old kid, and he says, you know, only one half of 1% of the population gets this. So I'm living my whole life and I'm 70 now. I'll be 71 soon. Since the age of nine, I was living. I could go through a long list, a whole laundry list of stuff. Really weird things, illnesses, injuries that don't happen to other people because I had that belief inside me out of my awareness driving my life. The other thing a doctor told me was after the brain surgery and I lost three critical nerves and my shoulder was going forward. I misplaced my shoulder blade, didn't realize, I, you know, it's supposed to go this way on your back. Mine goes this way because I didn't realize I had done that for mm, probably a couple months after it happened, after the surgery. And the neurosurgeon, who I thought was the most extraordinary genius in the world for the way he did the surgery for me, he said, well, you lost the nerve that controls the muscle that keeps your shoulder blade where it belongs. And I believed him and I was living there until I read Dee's book and talked with Dee and realized that's not true because my whole shoulder moved perfectly normally after the surgery. It was that I injured myself that was keeping me from healing. Those are just two examples. How many examples are in your life? keeping you stuck in ways you don't even know. And that's why I'm starting the book club. It's https colon slash slash bit dot l y slash l g m dash book club. Go there, join the book club because I'll be teaching. I I love to teach. People love when I teach. The last time I taught a book, everybody was anxious for me to get the next book to teach them. So I would love, love, love to have you join us. And that's how you can do it. So the other thing I want you to be aware of, this is a timely thing. So it's good that you're here live because this Tuesday, Voices of Women Summit happens. There are last count I saw 122 women talking. Each talk is 25 minutes on every topic you can think of that is presented by women. Do they uh, pertain only to women? No, some of them do. And the speakers are as young as 10 years old. Old. There are phenomenal young people, as well as seniors like me. I'm talking about true happiness. What is it and how do you get it? And to be able to get on there, https colon slash slash bit dot l y forward slash a l i dash v o w obviously you're not going to listen to all of them 
Well, unless you join VIP and then you'll have all the recordings because they're running 11 different tracks simultaneously. And that's how they get 122 talks done in one day. It's phenomenal. It's the uh, creation, second time Kimberly Crow's doing it. And if Kimberly's doing it, I fall, I'll follow her anywhere. She's a genius. She's generous. She does everything from her heart and organized like, wow. <laughs> I just learned by being in her presence. So, so let me talk about why that happens. Why just getting clear on your emotional, your relationship disconnects all across your life, clears out anything physical, as with Karen, emotional and physical, as with Sherry, or spiritual. Everything that seems to be wrong in your life, 100% of things that are off, out of balance, are that way because there's a relationship disconnect. And the work I do, we go through the entire history from where you are in your age all the way back into where you were in your, the, your mom's womb. I even had one person come in to this lifetime already with blocks. You see that happiness is your default state. You don't do anything to get happy. You get rid of what's blocking you from being happy. I'm giving you a little preview of my talk. Obviously, I'll be talking a little bit more. But so what kind of disconnects happen? Well, the biggest one, and I've seen it 100% of people I've worked with, is a disconnect between you and your spirit. Who are you really? Because if you're not your body and you're not your mind, who are you? You're your spirit. Or some people would call it a higher self. It's the eternal part of you. And if you're not having an awareness, if you don't know how to talk with your spirit, then you're probably missing all the messages you're getting because they're coming at you nonstop. Also from the universe, also from your guides, also from your angels. So if you want to learn how to communicate with your spirit, with your guides, with your angels, well, I'm going to tell you something right now. Just start looking at what's in your world, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're focusing on, that's what you're going to see. So if you're happy and you're putting out love, you're going to get it back in that book born. Oh, it's going into great detail so you can understand exactly how to put out what you want your life to look like. Because you're the one who creates your life. No one out there creates your life. Nothing out there creates your life. No circumstances, no person. I was married 32 years to somebody who kept telling me I was responsible for his happiness. No, I wasn't. He was responsible for his happiness. You don't go into a relationship looking for the other person to complete you. What happens in your world is up to you. And I guarantee if you're in a happy place, you're going to see all this happy stuff coming to you. And if you're in a place of fear, which so many people live their lives in fear, you're going to be bringing stuff into your world. That's what you're going to see. So if there's anything out there that would make you happy, you're not even going to see it because you only see what you're looking for. So to understand this and to learn how to communicate with the universe, 
because the universe is reinforcing actually it's fulfilling on your commands ask and you shall receive actually the hebrew meaning there is command demand put it out to the universe and finish it up if you know science and mind and so it is so there's nothing that ha there are no accidents there are no maybe it will happen no everything you put out comes back to you the problem is what well, most people and maybe that's you put out what they don't want you know if you ask somebody what do you want i remember i used to do this when i was married before i kind of woke up taught what i was doing and my husband would say where do you want to go to eat and instead of telling him where i want to go i say well i don't want chinese food today or i don't want vietnamese i i don't want i don't want i don't want well the thing is you're putting that energy out to the universe the universe doesn't hear the negative it doesn't hear the don't <laughs> so it thinks you're saying i want and that's what it brings to you and if your world's looking not the way you think you're asking for it it's because you're spending 95 percent of your day putting out programs of what you don't want it's out of your awareness average person spends five percent of every day living in the present when you're living in the present everything works because then you're living from your awareness but when you're not living from your awareness the universe is just going to give you the messages it's getting and it's getting the same messages day after day after day after week after year after a decade and that's why your life looks the same that's why it's been looking the same for so very many years what makes a difference for people is connecting to other people and you can only do that in present tense in real time if you're living in your past guess what your past is over it's done it's gone your past is your imagination and Every time you look at your past an event, it's your interpretation, it's your memory of it. Nothing to do with how it accurately happened, right? Same thing's true if you're living and projecting into your future. Well, the future's not here yet. So you're projecting your imagination. You're creating something. Again, it's not real so why would you usurp the present the time you have to really and truly create to go out into your imagination so come join me talk to me let me know where you are and where you like to go because i respond when i teach a book it's because people asked they asked for the book Thank you so much for joining me here today, too. So I remind you, join our Facebook group where all the links will appear. And every link that I mention will be there to remember to enjoy. That's I-N capital J-O-Y. Every moment, because you don't live your life out there. You live it. I'm pointing to my head. You live it in the six inches between your ears. All of your senses happen in that six inches between your ears, not out there.